Hey guys, uh, this is awesome again. Um, like I said in the comments, I'm going to do uh, another look at my case. Uh, actually look at what's in it. Um, why I have some of the stuff that I have in there. Also, um, I'm gonna couple. I'm gonna cover a couple more things. My rifle that I forgot to mention last time. All right. Um, I'm just gonna be behind the camera because I don't have my girlfriend to help me in a video. Uh, to start off with, uh, the case is a Pelican case. It's a 1700 uh, Pelican case. Uh, you can see right there. It says genuine Pelican case. Um, it's 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 really sturdy. Uh, I did have to cut all the foam myself. Uh, it wasn't that hard. I just used the electric carving knife, um, like you do for your turkey dinner. All right, um, on to what's in the case. Right here, I have a Surefire M3 um, T combat light. T is just for the turbo head. This thing is insanely bright. Um, if you're playing indoors, it'll pretty much blind anybody in the room. Um, almost no matter how big the room is. It's super, super bright. Um, down in this corner, I have four of my pistol mags. They're all standard capacity, 14 rounds. Uh, they're all, uh, these two are WE and the two silver ones are SOCOM gear. Uh, same exact magazine, just different color, uh, different name. Uh, right here, as you can see, I got my sling in this little nifty pouch. Um, and then the batteries for the flashlight. Uh, I hope that you guys all know, you shouldn't store your batteries in your flashlight. So, got them just kind of sitting in there underneath the sling so they don't go anywhere. Um, my pistol, of course, it actually, this foam is two and a quarter inches thick or so. Pistol's obviously not that thick, so I've got just pieces of the foam that I cut out to hold the pistol up so it doesn't sink all the way down in and it's actually not all a uniform width, so uh, just kind of helps with that. Uh, moving on. I've got eight primary mags that I always take with me. Um, these are the star standard capacity. Uh, I did do a little uh, spray paint job on them, put the 10th anniversary Magpul logo on there. Um, just add a little bit more uniqueness and I really like the logo. Uh, these are real, like real steel. Um, Ranger plates that actually had to be super glued on because they kept sliding off. Um, I carry eight of them, so I have four in my leg pouch, three on my vest, and one on the gun. Um, moving on, this is my B2 magnifier. Um, as I said, it actually works out really well. Uh, optics are really clear and everything. Um, it has a QD mount with a throw lever so I can pull it off of the uh, rifle which is right here. It also flips to the side for CQB engagements um, and I just flip it back in and lock it down for longer ranges. Um, here's my Knights style um, QD suppressor. Um, it originally did come with foam in it, but I pulled that out because BBs kept hitting the foam. Uh, the suppressor slot again has an um, extra piece of foam in here just to keep it a little bit more elevated. Um, same thing with the magnifier sight. Um, since this is a brand new magazine, I don't actually have anywhere for it. I didn't feel like pulling any of these out yet. Um, I am getting some more of the M version magazines um, and I might just run these primarily. They feed really well. They've got a great texture to them and I absolutely love the look obviously because I love Magpul. Um, and yeah, moving on to the stuff with my rifle. 
Um, again, in the pistol or in the pistol grip well, I got another piece of foam. Not a uniform thickness on the gun. Um, moving on to some of the things that I've had to do extra that I didn't show in the video in my last video. Uh, to be able to get this um, rail system to fit was a huge pain in the butt. I actually broke the Magpul, the tan Magpul upper receiver that came with the gun trying to thread the uh, barrel nut onto here. It was extremely difficult. Um, I, if you're going to get one of these, definitely suggest get, getting the threading tool. Um, that Madwell sells. It's it's exceptionally helpful. Um, yeah, one of the other things that I had to do is that the rails don't actually line up. I don't know if you can really see that, but they don't line up level. So uh, this is a classic army upper receiver. Just so you know. You're going to run into that problem. Uh, I don't know about the brand new X series, but I do. I did have that problem with this one. Also, fitting it into the back of here. Here, I'm going to pull the upper off. All right. Now that I have the upper off, you can kind of see the um, the little nubs, I guess you'd call them, that normally fit into. The standard Classic Army lower receiver, I actually had to file them off so that they would fit right into there on the Magpul lower receiver. Um, one last thing with the rail is that since I mounted this further forward and the rails are different heights, I actually had to file some of the rail out so that I could mount this further forward to mount the QD um, attachment point for the magnifier. Um, I think that's it for this video. Yeah, I'm going to go on to my gear video soon. I'm hoping to get some uh, multicam, multicam combat shirt and combat pants pretty soon and then I'll get that gear review done and get it up. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any suggestions, just put them in the comments, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Why don't you slow down, turn your head round, been treading on hearts that are